Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. We are so delighted to have all of you here with us as we thank the Dominion Foundation for their generous support of our lab upgrade project. And I'd like to give special thanks to Foundation President Hunter Applewhite, Vice President System Engineering Christy Neller, Cindy Balderson, Manager of Corporate Philanthropy and Community Partnerships for her continued support of our programs, and Susan King, Janelle Hancock, and the Dominion team for their assistance in planning this event. I'd also like to thank PVCC President Frank Friedman for his leadership and vision as we align our programs and facilities with industry needs. Vice President for Instruction and Student Services, John Donnelly. Dean of Business, Mathematics, and Technologies, Adam Hastings, and the PVCC Engineering faculty team and our B&G team for the time and effort invested in this project. We are so pleased to have you all here today, and I'd like to invite Dr. Friedman up to the podium to share his remarks. Thanks, Kate. Um, I just want to add my words of welcome to everybody from PVCC, uh, but especially to our guests and visitors from Dominion. We owe you a big thanks, and I don't know how to say it enough times or enough ways, but thank you. Um, I, I just want to share a quick story with you. Um, on Monday, I was on a panel over at UVA with Terry Sullivan and our local school superintendents talking about the future of education. And it was really a very good experience, well run, and uh, you know, really enjoyed it. During the question and answer period, uh, a UVA student asked, how do we keep up with the changes in technology and in the work world in our fast paced society, where things are moving along so quickly how will colleges keep up? And my answer to that was, the only way we can do it is by partnering with businesses. That's the only way it can happen. And at PVCC, we partner with business all the time. As our faculty know, we have business folks serving on advisory committees, working with our faculty, keeping our faculty informed about the skill set that the workforce of today and tomorrow is going to need in whatever field it might be. And it's wonderful to work with a company that goes way beyond that, and that's Dominion. A true community corporate citizen who cares about the future workforce, who is ready to invest and help colleges like PVCC and others to have state-of-the-art equipment, state-of-the-art labs, and prepare, hopefully, a very well-qualified workforce into the future. It's a blessing for us to work with companies like Dominion. We thank you so much for your support. And truly, we could not do what we do at the level we want to do it, the level of quality we want to do it, without your support. And I, I, I just wish every business around would have that same community and corporate spirit, that spirit of giving back, you know, preparing the future that you all have shown us. This is uh, obviously the second lab we have worked on together. Hopefully there will be more out into the future. And it has just become a tremendous partnership. And the bottom line is we all benefit. Our students benefit. They create the workforce of the future. Many of them hopefully will go to work for you. So ultimately Dominion will reap some of that benefit directly. But our community, our economic development, all benefit from your generosity, your spirit, and your support. So to our friends at Dominion, thank you so much. And to all the folks at PVCC, who have made this possible, thank you for all of your hard work. Um, I won't speak to any of this equipment because I don't know anything about it. That's, the, that's not my, my thing, but thank goodness we have outstanding faculty and outstanding students who do 
understand all of this, and I think they're going to tell us a little bit about it as we go on through the program. So again, thank you all for being here, and a special thank you to Dominion for your support. Thank you, Dr. Freeman. Christy Neller, Vice President, System Engineering from Dominion. Well, good morning. I'm delighted to be here, and I'm very excited to see Dominion's name on such an outstanding lab. And uh, it's especially exciting for me as an engineer um, to be here to share it. So a little bit of just a brief background. I grew up in Virginia, and I went on to study mechanical engineering at Virginia Tech. And when I did that, I didn't really understand what that meant. Um, but once, I just knew I loved math and science and figuring out how things worked. But once I started to study, um, I learned that it's really understanding and learning and putting together all the pieces that are around us every day that make things work. The physics, the math, the biology, the chemistry, the, the thermodynamics, the, you know, all of those exciting things, how they work and then how they all come together to make other things work. So, it's exciting for me to see programs like this um, because I took that knowledge and I got a co-op internship with Dominion and I was able to take that learning and put it into practice to see first troubleshooting how people that went before me designed and built the things that powered everything we do and then to be able to build and create on my own which was even better and then while I was doing that I also had the opportunity to take some courses at our local community college it further enhanced my understanding and gave me a, another aspect to my education that was so valuable as I was trying to put all this together and figure out how to use it. So I see the, just the critical nature of uh, our community college system, of PVCC, and of the programs um, that you create and foster here. Um, I, I see it every day. So a little bit about Dominion I want to share while I'm here today. As you know, we're one of the largest energy companies in the nation. We have a portfolio of assets um, that's valued at over $60 billion and growing every day. Um, we have about 15,000 team members, and we serve approximately 6 million um, electricity and natural gas customers in 14 states. Um, but Virginia is our home. Um, we can trace our corporate ancestral roots all the way back to the colonial era, when the Appomattox uh, Company was formed in 1787, 1787 to improve navigation of the Appomattox River. Um, so our business is deeply rooted in Virginia's history, and engineering and science are critical to everything that we do. And just to kind of give you some stats around that, we engineers love stats, by the way. <laughs> we have about 800 engineers in the company. It includes electrical, mechanical, petroleum, um, nuclear, you name it, engineers. And on top of that, we have over 250 scientists, which are typically biologists, chemists, and environmental specialists. Together, that's 1,100 men and women that foster the technical knowledge and understanding. But beyond that, almost every role within Dominion is technical in some nature because what we do is very technical. So it, everybody's involved in some aspect of that. But the engineering expertise that we have is responsible for the construction and ongoing maintenance of the energy uh, infrastructure we need to serve our customers. It includes the power stations, the power lines, electrical substations, gas pipelines, compressor stations. I could go on and on. All the other facilities that are part of the interconnected energy system we depend on every day. These energy networks um, have taken generations of hard work and massive amounts of money to build and create them and to maintain them. I often say to the the team members I work with, we stand on the shoulders of giants. And that is so true in our industry, in our company, and in programs like this. Um, people that went before us to have the vision and the creativity and the dream to understand what it takes to take things further. Um, so to do that, you know, technological advances are critical and vital to our work, allowing us to keep moving forward, to innovate, find better and cleaner ways to produce and deliver energy. That's why we're committed to STEM education and to help funding labs like this. We value our partnership with PVCC and other educational institutions because we understand the importance of supporting research, innovation, and learning. We know today's students, as he said, will be tomorrow's workforce. So the learning that goes on in this lab here will have an impact on the advancement in the energy industry, as well as many others. And the history of our energy business took place in research labs just like this, with folks like Edison and Tesla, and the future is sure to follow a similar path. <laughs> My family is certainly testament to that. 
My husband, I think we was talking with a few people, is a science teacher and a robotics coach. My daughter is in engineering right now. And my son decided for his 11th birthday he wanted a lab like Edison's. But we had to get it set up before his 11th birthday because Edison had it when he was 11 and he wanted to beat that. <laughs> so a little, com a little competitive nature there too. But uh, my kitchen, my garage, even my backyard have been home and testament to the creativity of scientific research for many, many years. <laughs> but our company and our industry count on that type of innovation and creativity and on the educational community to help us build and innovate in order to increase our energy supplies, our energy efficiency, and improve environmental quality all at the same time. So Dominion is happy to support your mission by helping to make this great lab available to the students. We know they will make the most of it, and we're excited to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christy. Now I'd like to invite Adam Hastings, Dean of Business, Mathematics, and Technologies to the podium, and he will share with you um, some details about the upgrade project and what this has meant for the faculty and staff here and students. Good morning, everybody. Hearing you, hearing you speak about your mission at Dominion and your vision for your future of Dominion really reminded me of the work we do here. And our mission is really defined by access and completion. Access means any student from any walk of life can come in through these doors and get a high quality education. Completion means that we are with them from start to finish. And it's not just obtaining a degree, but obtaining the industry certifications and the relevant hands-on experience that's going to happen in this lab that's going to make our students competitive out in the workforce. This lab is a real leap forward for us here at PBCC. We have about 135 students who are going to go through here by design as part of electronics and related programs. But we have closer to 250 students in programs like engineering and science and electronics and IT who are also going to experience time in this room to the tune of about 450 class enrollments on a semester by semester basis. That's a big impact that this lab is going to have for our students. I'm excited today to have you have some time to meet with our students because our students really are the energy in our program. And I'm also really excited for you to have a chance to spend some time with Professor Moore and Professor Haas who really are leading this work here at PBCC and really helping us make a quantum leap forward in the quality of our programming. Hunter, are you ready to do a display? All right. Hunter really is the expertise here and like Professor Friedman, uh, like oh, Professor Friedman and Dr. Friedman. Uh, uh, I have no idea what happens on these tables either, so uh, I'll defer to the experts. Okay, so um, one, of the, one of the things that came out of the grant was the purchase of the laser cutter back here. And uh, the thing that's really going to help, uh, this laser cutter is really going to help with this lab, is to take student ideas. Um, we can give them the design and the theory. That's one thing, to lecture to them and tell them this is how things work. This is what's going to happen when you design it this way. But it's a completely different idea when that student can take something and they can design it on paper. And then we can say, OK, why don't you see if it works, right? Instead of me just saying, yeah, it works or it doesn't work, it's much cooler if the student can say, OK, here it is. I've made it, and now I can see. So this, in combination with other things like the 3D printer and stuff like that, we can take those pieces. And it's, instead of something that maybe, if we were lucky, we could send it out to a shop and wait a few weeks and get it back, and then they say, oh, okay, now I can see whether it works or not. They can see within, a lot of times, the same class period if it's working. And so uh, one of the things that we're gonna be doing with the laser cutter uh, in classes is using it to do like gear systems. So that's kind of the thing I was gonna show you with this one. So uh, one of the things I put together for this was uh, an example of a planetary gear system. So I can show you it cutting out now. So this is something that a student would learn about and they would design. And then they can put it together and see, okay, does it work? Does it not work? Now I can understand, you know, because I'm actually holding it in my hands, and it gives them that, that next moment of understanding. Thank you, Dominion Foundation, for your very generous support. We are proud to now call this the Dominion Engineering Lab, and I invite all of you to enjoy refreshments and mill about the room as you explore the uh, tools and equipment on the tables and take a look at what was just produced by the laser cutter as well as the very fascinating 3D printer next to Dr. Friedman, um, which has been running quietly as we've been here today. So thank you so much for your generous, generous support and uh, please enjoy. <laughs>